All right. So good morning or good afternoon. This is actually my second time doing this uh, recording. The other one got corrupted. So some of you might be receiving this late in Pasensya Don. Uh, so like what I've mentioned in the previous video, you should be doing this Kahoot game. It is highly recommended for you guys to do this Kahoot game first on your own. Mag-isip muna kayo before you listen to this video. So if you haven't done the Kahoot game yet, please do it first. The link is in the previous video. Okay? And then, ang gagawin ko kasi ngayon is I'll be discussing the answers to it. Okay? So, I'll be assuming that you have finished this video because you are resuming this or andito pa rin kayo. Okay? So, let me join the game with Robin, Nancy, and Sintoshimang. Ayan. So, question number one. In how many ways can the word leader be arranged? Sige. Gamit kaya ako ng calcu, no? Six letters, eh. So, six factorial na sa isip ng iba, no? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, twenty. But no, my answer is a three hundred sixty. Pakita ko yung calculator ko. Ano? Ma'am, teka lang. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is 720. Bakit 360? Okay. If you have noticed, sana nga na-notice, ano? If you have noticed, uh, actually, the letter E is double. Dito lang kita yung E. Then, ayan. The letter E is double. Okay. So, somebody asked me already, Ma'am, bakit 360, 720 dapat, diba? Okay, good question. Because, okay, uh, let me just use big letters and small letters para ma-distinguish natin yung letters. Yan. So, this word, leader, is the same as this. Okay. So, pareho lang naman sila, no? So, i-divide na lang natin sa ilan. Ilan ba yung naulit na letter? Okay? Or ilang beses ba siya naulit? So, dalawang beses na ulit yung letter E. So, we will be dividing 720 by 2. Okay? So, 720 divided by 2 is 360. Okay? So, that is the reason why this is not 720. But I think ito lang naman yung confusing question dito. Right? So, I guess we can continue the next question. Okay. Medyo nangunguna ako. Okay. Sige. Let's take a look at the next one. Question number two. A coin is tossed three times. How many possible outcomes are there? About it. A coin is tossed three times, tatlong beses. So, hmm, I think the answer here is, baka iniisip ng iba, 2 plus 2 plus 2. No, the answer is, okay, bakit? Uh, again, para itong yung true or false ninyo sa logic. Okay, pero this time, ang gamit natin ay coin. Okay, so I have coin 1. Okay, or the first time the coin is tossed, the second time it was tossed, and the third time it was tossed. Sa unang toss, ang choices ko ay head or tail. Okay, sa second toss, ang choice ko pa din ay head or tail. Ganun din kung tail ang result dun sa unang toss. And then, let's say for example, I tossed it the third time, my choices are still head or tail. Dito pa din, head or tail pa din siya. As well as this, head, tail. Or dito, head and tail. Okay? So now, what are the possible outcomes? The possible outcomes would be head, head, head. Head, head, tail. Head, tail, head. Head, tail, tail. Tail, head, head. Tail, head, tail. Tail, tail, head. Tail, tail. Tail. Very similar to our example in our logic lesson in the previous, uh, se no, not previous time, in the midterm, okay? Okay, let's go to the next question. 
question number three is, what is the value of 100 P2? Okay. 100 permutation 2. Nako, walang ata akong permutation sa aking calculus. Tingnan ko nga. Okay, calculator, calculator. Teka lang. Wala ditong permutation pa. Sige, I'll answer 9,800. 9, Okay. How was I able to do this mentally? Okay. Uh, if you would take a look at our previous example, the pagka permutation tayo, ginagamit natin ay pababa ng pababa. Yung dyan nagkakamali ang karamihan, akala nila factorial, pero hindi. Ba? When we do permutation, usually what we do is 100 times 99 times 98 times 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, and so on. Now, we will just be taking two of them. Ito lang, 100 times 99. Okay? Again, next. Question number four. In how many ways can 10 children be arranged in a row? So, as you remember, 10 children, syempre, hindi naman yan mag-uulit. Okay, yan yung uh, example nito yung pinaupo natin. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or 10 factorial. So, next na agad tayo. A team of 8 needs to pick a captain and a co-captain. Is this a permutation or combination? Wala ng computation. But remember, it looks for a captain and a co-captain. Merong position, merong role, so that is per location. Okay lang kung bilisan, malapit na si Nancy sa akin, no? Okay, question number 6. A group of 25 people are going to run a race. The top 8 finishers advance to the final. Now, we are not looking for top 1, top 2, top 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Basta kailangan natin is yung entire top 8 to advance to the final. So, it doesn't matter kung sino yung top 1. It doesn't matter kung sino yung top 2. Basta gusto ko yung top 8. So, it's a matter of combination. Okay? But if we would be looking for the top 8 winners, okay, winners agad-agad, okay, in a particular order, Okay, so that would be permutation. Pero since I'm just looking for 8 finishers to advance to the final, kukunin natin yung top 8 combination. Wala ka naman si Nancy. O, oh, konti pa. Sige, bilisan na natin. Choosing 3 toppings for a pizza if there are only 9 choices, permutation or combination, ibigitan ko na, this is combination. It doesn't matter naman kung unahin mo ang pepperoni, kung unahin mo ang mushroom, kung unahin mo ang bacon. Okay? Basta kailangan ko ng tatlo. Okay? You can tell it in any order. ba? Hindi naman mahalaga kung anong nauna. Kasi toppings naman yan eh. Huh? Sige, next. Nahabol natin si Nancy. Sige, huwag tayo magpapatalo. Question number 8. There are, there are 45 applicants for 3 computer programming positions. Combination or permutation? Hindi naman sinabi na yung una ay senior computer programmer, yung pangalwa ang junior. So, basta tatlo lang ang kailangan ko. Now, it's a matter of combination. Okay? Sana rinig ako ng ayos. Alright. Yan. Baka hindi na makahabol question 9 na tayo eh. In how many ways can five books be arranged on a shelf? It's another arrangement problem. So, when we are arranging something, it's permutation or since gagamitin natin lahat ng five books, that would be five factorial. Okay, sige, malayo-layo na. But, huwag tayong papakampante. 10 out of 10. How many ways can students be seated in a row? Ito lang. Damn it, what? But it's just like a while ago. It's just an um, it's just a matter of arrangement, and we'll be using all of them. So eighteen. Okay, so that's it. Well, congratulations, Ate, and congratulations if you were able to finish our 
uh, Kahoot game. And if you were able to get 10 out of 10, congratulations, no? Okay, ayan. So, close ko na ito, no? We'll proceed to our lesson already. Ayan. Close ko na, no? Medyo nagpa-party-party na to. Okay? So, kung, again, congratulations to those who finished the Kahoot game. Okay? So, whatever your score is, I will not be recording that. That is just for practice. Okay? And we'll be having our Kahoot game this Wednesday or Thursday. So, sana ma-prepare, sana mapaghandaan. Okay? Yan. So, as you notice, many experiments do not yield exactly the same results when performed repeatedly. These type of experiments are called probabilistic. Okay? So, kayo nga, uh, get a coin. Mag-toss coin kayo. Okay? Anong nakuha mo? Some of you might be getting head. Some of you might be getting tail. Paulit-ulitin mong gawin yan, mag-iiba at mag-iiba ang iyong result because these are probabilistic. Okay? Probable lang. Hindi sure. Sure ka ba na heads ang lalabas sa toss coin mo? Or sure ka ba na tail ang lalabas sa toss coin mo? Diba? Okay, kahit pagbunot ng, uh, ang tawag dito, let's say bubunot tayo ng number, bubunot tayo pagka may grouping, we are not sure who we will be getting, maliban kung may daya. Okay? Pagka tataya tayo sa, yung mga tataya, no? But if we have tickets, yung mga raffle ticket natin sa school, yeah, those are probabilistic because hindi naman tayo sure na tayo mananalo kahit limang daang ticket pa ang binili mo. No? Okay, again. So, I guess you already have an idea of what our lesson is. This is the continuation of combinatoric and probability. Ayan. So, sabi ko nga, toss coin. The question is, how many possible outcomes are there? Medyo binigay ko na just a while ago. Dalawa lang naman ang ating outcomes or dalawa lang naman yung ating choices. Okay? So, ano yung dalawang choices na yun? We have head or tail. Ito kaya. Meron ako ditong die. By the way, die kasi hindi siya dalawa eh. So, pagka singular, we say die. Pagka dalawa, we use die. Okay, so, sana tandaan niyo to from your English class. How many possible outcomes are there in a regular die? Meron kasing ibang die na, iba, na ibang shape, no? But the common one, the regular one, is six-sided. And what are those six? Simply one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, what if ito naman? I have three coins. What if there are three coins? being tossed. How many possible outcomes are there? So, kagaya din sa Kahoot game natin kanina, there are eight outcomes. What are they? Head, 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 tail. Head, head, tail, head, head, tail, tail. Tail, head, head, tail, head, tail, 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 head, tail, tail, tail. Okay? Now, napaka-importante nung ginawa natin free diagram kanina because that would make it less confusing for you to list this down. Okay? Ito, okay. One deck of cards. Sino dito mga madalas gumamit ng baraha? Uh, okay na naman. Huwag lang sanang gamitin sa sugal, no? Because we actually use this for games. Solitaire. <laughs> diba? Okay? Now, please don't use this para sa sugal. You can use this for games, no? Okay? So actually, if you would count it, not including the joker, okay, we have 52 cards. And ano, ano yon? We have ace of hearts, one of hearts, two of hearts, three of hearts, and so on. Uh, we have diamonds, ace of diamonds, one of diamonds, and so on. We have clover, and then we have spades. Hanggang Queen of Spades, King of Spades. Again, Joker not included. So, ito lang naman yung sagot na kailangan ko sa tanong na, how many? Okay. Pagtanong ko ay how many, 
of course, you would give me the number. But if I ask, what are the outcomes? Okay? What are the possible outcomes? Kagaya ng pinagagawa natin last week, actually. What you have been listing down is what we call sample spaces. Okay? So let me write here the question. What are the possible outcomes? Again, there's a difference between how many. The question, how many, only gives a number. But the question, what? What are the possible outcomes? You should be giving the sample space. Ang sample space natin ay itong list ng lahat ng possible na mangyari. Okay? Ayan. Kung baga lahat ng choices. So, let's try activity 4 agad-agad. Okay? So, list down the sample space of the following experiment. I'll be giving you maybe one minute or just pause this video whenever uh, you would want to answer and resume this once you are ready. Okay, so I'll assume na na pause nyo na and I'll assume na nasagutan nyo na. So, list down the sample space of the following experiments. Number one, spinning the color wheel above one. Okay, ano ba yung mga choices natin sa color wheel na to? Meron tayong blue. Meron tayong yellow. We have orange. We have pink. And we have green. Okay, pasensya sa sulat. Yan. So, yan ang ating sample space. So, ganyan, ilustan nyo na lahat. Huwag nang tama rin, okay? It does not have any particular pattern. So, list it down. Okay, number two, getting a ball from a jar containing 11 balls. Labeled A to K. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Ayan, yun yung ating magiging sample space. And since may pattern naman siya, sige, you can use the ellipses. Hindi natamad talaga kayo. Okay. And number three, tossing a coin and a die. Okay. Uh, in this one, you can use a free diagram. Okay. Sige, gawa muna akong free diagram dito. Let's say I have a coin here and then it deep in die. Anong choices natin sa coin? Head or tail? Pag head ang pinili ko or head ang lumabas, ang choices ko sa die ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pag tail ang lumabas, kan pa rin naman. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pa din. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ang ating sample space dito ay head 1, head 2, Head 3, head 4, head 5, head 6, until tail 1, tail 2, tail 3, tail 4, tail 5, tail 6. As much as possible, unahin ninyo kung ano yung naunang sabihin sa problem. Okay? Alright, if you're able to get it, then I guess you should be able to get activity 4.5. Okay? So again, pause this video and assume it once you are ready. Okay, so I'll assume that you are done. So we have here the sample space of spinning the color wheel above twice. Okay, so madami na to actually. We already have, sa tingin nyo, ilan? We already have 25, 25 outcomes here, okay? So if you remember the things that we did last week, okay? Sa unang spin, I have five options, di ba? Okay, sa unang spin, I have five options. And sa pangalawang spin, oops, wait lang, let me change this one. Again, sa unang spin, I have five choices. Sa pangalawang spin, I still have five choices. Hindi naman tinanggal eh. Hindi naman pinagbawal na umulit, no? So, let's list it down. I have, let's say, blue-blue. 
Pwedeng ganyan na yun lang muna isulat. Pwedeng may dash. Blue, yellow. Blue, orange. Uh, blue, pink. And blue, green. Then I have yellow, blue. Yellow, yellow. Uh, yellow, orange. And so on. Hanggang makaabot kayo sa green. Green. Okay? Ayan. Okay, let's go with number two. I want to get two balls from a jar containing 11 balls labeled A to K without replacement. What does it mean when we say without replacement? Hindi ko ibabalik yung bola. Okay? So, let's look first kung ilan ang possible outcomes. Sa unang bunot ko ng bola, I have 11 choices. Pangalawang bunot ko ng bola, ilang choices na lang. Sampu na lang. Okay? So, we have here A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, A, E, A, F, A, G, A, H, H, Wait lang. H, I, H, J, H, K. Okay? Wait lang. A, B, A, C, A, D, A, E, A, F. A, G. Yan, nagkamali na ako. A, H, A, I, A, J, A, K. Ayan. But wait. Parang may mali. Ano bang mali dito sa listahan ko? Yes, merong mali. Bawal ang A, A. Bakit? Kasi, sabi, without replacement. Pagka nakuha ko na si A, wala na siya sa choices. So, ang mga bawal dito is yung mga BB, CC, VD. Hindi pa di mga umuulit kasi again, without replacement, hindi ibabalik ang bola. Okay? So, you should be able to list down 110. Okay? But you don't have to list them all down naman talaga. No? You can use ellipses. Okay? Until ano to? Until Till K, J. Walang K, K. Kasi again, bawal din to. Alright. Sige, number three. Tossing a coin once and a die twice. Madami-dami ito, no? Okay. Uh, again, you may use a three diagram. But if you're confident enough, you have head one, one. Head one, two. Head one. 1, 3, and so on until you get up to tail 6, 6. Okay? Sabi naman ay list down. Okay? So, if you just answered or if you, an tell, if you answered or wrote how many there are, let's say, for example, nilagay nyo ay 2 times 6 times 6, which is 72, this is wrong because I'm not asking for how many. Mahalaga na alam ninyo kung ilan for checking. Para mabilang ninyo, tama ba tong ginawa ko? Should there be 72? Ay, but parang kulang. Bakit 70 lang yung naisulat ko? Okay? But take note, you may use ellipses. Okay? Para madali. Yan. So, what did we do? Okay? So, what we did just now is to list the sample space. Okay. Now, let's say, for example, uh, no tail. I want no tail. Pwede ba yun? Okay, pwede naman, no? Okay, so, if I want no tails, head lang ang matitira. If even numbers, ang even numbers lang naman ay 2, 4, and 6. Ayan. So, ito lang ang matitira. So, head lang ang matitira. Now, ang gusto ko naman dito sa next eye, there are exactly two heads. So, ito hindi pwede dahil tatlo. Ito pwede two heads. Pwede. Hindi. Pwede. Hindi. 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 Okay. And I want red cards only. So, hindi na pwede dito yung spade. Hindi rin pwede ang uh, clover. 
or yung club dahil black card yun. Ang pwede lang dito ay yung mga heart at saka diamond. Okay? So, ito lang ang mga pwede. Okay. Now, what are these things? Ito yung mga gusto kong mangyari. Or, these are what we call events. Okay? The event of not having a tail in a toss coin. The event of getting even number. The event of getting exactly two heads. And the event of getting red cards only. Okay? Ito yung mga gusto kong mangyari. So, in your own words, please try to differentiate event from sample space. Okay, so write it down. I think I would not want to reveal it yet, pero sige, just for checking and for everybody's information, no, I'll give the answer. But next meeting, I'll be asking you, ano yung definition na binigay ninyo? Okay? So for sample space, it is the set A consisting of all the outcomes of the experiment as in lahat. Okay? Well, the event is the statement about the outcome of an experiment which could be true or false. Ito yung mga outcomes na gusto ko. Okay? So as you can see, ito yung mga gusto ko mangyari. Walang tail na lumabas. Even numbers lang ang lumabas. Two heads ang lumabas. Or red cards lang ang lumabas. Okay? Those are the events. Right? So this time, uh, We'll be using the same example sa ating activity. But now, what I want you to do is to list down the event of the following. Yeah, sige. Uh, you can base it from the answers a while ago. You can just cross it out. Okay. But then again, I'll leave or I'll give you maybe a minute or two to answer this. Pause this video. Kung kulang pa sa time, extend ng konti. No? Okay. But I'll be assuming that you have answered this already. Say, so getting a color green and spinning the color wheel above one. Ang ating sample space ay blue, yellow, orange, pink, and green. Yan ang ating sample space. Ang gusto ko ay makakuha ng color green. So my event is just green. Actually, you don't have to list this unless gusto nyo, no? Para na-check nyo. Okay, so number two, getting a ball H from a jar containing 11 balls labeled A to K. So, simply, ang aking event dito ay H. Yan lang naman ang gusto makuha eh. Ito, number three, getting a head in tossing a coin and a die. Ito medyo iniba ko ng konti yung question. And it details it that. Right? Getting a head. So, last time we wrote H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, a head 6, tail 1, tail 2, tail 3, tail 4, Tail 5, tail 6. Ang gusto ko lang ay makakuha ng head. So, ito lang naman yung aking mga kukunin. Kung anin na to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are not included kasi these are tails. Ma'am, paano yun? Walang sinabi about the die. It's fine. It doesn't matter kasi ang concern ko lang naman ay yung sa coin. Okay? Let's go to activity 5.5. Naka 0.5 siya kasi siguro mas mahirap ng konti. Okay? Sige, I'll give you a minute once again. Pause this video. And then I'll assume that you are already done. Sige. Now, list down the events of the following experiment. Getting two red in spinning the color wheel above twice. Eh, kahit sampung beses ko yata pa ikot-ikotin to, eh, hindi lalabas ang kulay red. Ano? So, in this case, what's our event? Walang laman. Okay? Number two, getting two balls, AA, 
from a jar containing 11 balls labeled A to K without the placement. So, hindi pwedeng ibalik yung bola. So, here, is it possible to get A, A? Pag nakuha mo na si A, makukuha mo ba ulit si A? Imposible na ulit, no? Kasi bawal ngang ibalik yung bola. Wala nang matitirang A dun sa jar. Getting a sum less than 15 in tossing two dice. Okay, two dice naman tinaltan ko. So let's try to write it down. We have one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, until, okay, until six, six. I think ang pinakamalaking combination natin ay itong six, six, ano? Okay, sum ang gusto kong malaman. So, pag pinag-add ko ba ang 6, 6, mean 12 ang sagot. Is it less than 15? Yes. Yeah. So, do you think I will list all of these? Yes, you will list down all of these because all of these will have a sum less than 15. So, ang dalawang 6, 12 lang ang sagot. Eh. So, definitely the ones lower than 6, 6 will get a lower sum as well. Okay? I strongly believe that you were able to have this lesson previously, no? Uh, in your senior high or in your high school. Sige, pansinin natin to. Ano na napapansin nyo dito sa examples, sa activity? Itong spelling ba itong aking activity? Dito sa activity 5.5. Okay, dito sa number 1, walang result. It's totally... Impossible. Kasi walang red dyan eh. Dito, sa, dito rin sa number 2, it's totally impossible. Kasi hindi mo naman ibabalik yung unang ball. So, it's impossible to get the same ball. Itong sa number 3, everything, pang, it's totally possible, no? Kasi kahit ano pang bunutin mo, kahit 6-6 six, six ang mabunot mo, it's still less than 15. So, what are these events? We have certain events. In your own words, what do you think is a certain event? Now, if your answer is a certain event is something that will surely happen, 100% sure will happen, then you are correct. Another thing is the impossible event. Okay? Uh, when you say impossible event, kagaya nung kamina, nung 1 and 2, 0% chance talaga na mangyayari. Okay? Uh, another thing is the mutually exclusive event. Events that could not occur at the same time. Anong example nito? Uh, mga magandang example sa mutually exclusive, no? Uh, ito yung mga hindi pwedeng magkasabay. Okay? That's uh, quite similar to impossible event, no? Uh, let's say, for example, is makakuha ako ng... Hmm, makakuha ako ng... head when I am spinning a dice. Wala namang head sa dice, di ba? Or getting tails when... Uh, Ba? Getting a tail when spinning the wheel. Eh, ang choices naman to spin the wheel natin ay colors. Mutually exclusive event. Okay? Yeah. So, try to give your own examples next week. Okay? That's what I will be looking for from you guys. Okay? So, please, uh, before you search, no? Before you search, please, uh, Look all this one. Please think of it by yourself muna. No? Ayan. So, another thing pala sa mutually exclusive events, uh, for example, coin. Hindi pwedeng lumabas ang head and tail at the same time. Isa lang yung answer. Or another thing, bumunot ako ng isang card sa deck of cards. Hindi pwedeng dalwa ang result. Isa lang. Those are mutually exclusive events. Okay? Again, please think of your own examples first. 
before consulting Google. Okay, alam kong kaibigan niyo yan, pero pag-isip muna kayo, okay? Ayan, so, sige, let me return to page 31. Ayan. So, remember these events? So, my question here is, what is the probability? Okay. Let me write here. What is the probability of getting a head sa isang toss coin? Let me just write it. What is the probability of getting no tails? Ilan ba dito ang walang tails? So, isa lang. No? Ilan ang choices natin? Dalawa. What is the probability of getting even numbers when you throw a die? Ilan bang even numbers natin? Tatlo. Ilan ang choices? And. So, let's simplify this. This is also one half. Kalkan ko pala ang kulay para mas malinaw. Uh, again, please put your fractions into lowest terms. What is the probability of getting exactly two heads if you throw three coins? Or if you toss three coins? So, we have one, two, three out of eight. I think this is the lowest term already. Red cards. Uh, I think we don't have to count it, but for sure naman, uh, we have two sets of red cards. Yung hearts and diamonds. Man tayong four sweets, hearts, diamond, spade, and club. So two out of four or still one half. If you're looking for the probability of something, probability should be expressed in fraction or decimal. Take note, if you're using fraction, make sure that it is in lowest term. Okay, uh, you can also put them in decimal. Simply divide them. 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. So then 0 0.5. Uh, I think this is 0 0.375. And this is then 1 half this. Okay, so that's for our probability okay so i will still have more questions on probability later on okay but now my question is how do you get or what is the formula for probability how do you get the probability of something yan so gaya ng ginawa natin kanina okay the probability of an event is una sa lahat Ilan ba yung outcome sa event? Ay, kagaya ng kanina. Ilan yung binilugan natin? Ilan yung laman ng event? Divided by the total number of outcomes. Okay? So, ilan yung sample space natin? So, if your answer here is the, to the, sorry, the number of event, the total number of event, divided by the total number of sample space natin. This is also the formula for the probability of an event. Which leads us to activity 6. Okay. Activity 6. What is the probability of getting a color green in spinning the color wheel above once? Getting a ball H from a jar containing 11 balls labeled A to K and getting a head in tossing a coin and a die. Now, I won't be revealing the answers today. I, I'll just give this one for a bit of help. And also, activity 6.5, what is the prob probability of getting two red and spinning the color wheel above twice? Getting two balls, AA, from a jar containing 11 balls. Labeled A to K without the placement. Na discuss naman natin na to. And getting a sum less than 15 in tossing two dice. Okay? So, I'll be leaving you with this activity. Okay? 
And if you have questions, please do type it or send it in our GC. As much as possible, avoid PM kasi natatabunan. If they are group chats, uh, at least na monitor ko naman lagi since search ko yan lagi kung merong mga nagtatanong or nag-message. Alright? So, thank you so much and pasensya sa delay. I hope that you still learned something and I hope that you would give time for this. Remember, this Wednesday and Thursday would be our accreditation so don't forget to wear something with collar or ito, Chinese collar, pwede naman. O kaya yung mga turtleneck, pwede naman din. Okay? So, that's it. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye!